Artificial intelligence. You can't look at a newspaper, turn on the TV news without hearing something every day about artificial intelligence. I have an app on my phone. It's called InkPad. It's a note-taking app. They did an update recently and added artificial intelligence. So it got me curious about it and wanting to investigate, can I as a runner leverage and use artificial intelligence to help and improve my running life? Hi, I'm Ralph and welcome to Ageless Runner. I'm so glad to have you here today to hear about artificial intelligence. Now, let me tell you what this video is not. It is not going to be a discussion about uh, the moral or the ethics of artificial intelligence. Is it going to be something that's going to take over the world? I don't know. I'm not here to discuss that today. Nor is it going to be a detailed how-to, although at the end of the video, I will give you some guidance and instruction on where you can go to do what I did and get started if you want to explore it a little more. No, this video is about how can you use AI, artificial intelligence, in your running life? How can you get information, maybe training plans, gear recommendations, and things like that? I think it's pretty exciting. I think, you, I, think I have found usefulness for it, and, and maybe you will too. And what I'm going to be using is something called ChatGPT, which is a conversational or chat-based artificial intelligence developed by a group called OpenAI. They got a lot of their funding from Microsoft. I read where Microsoft invested a billion dollars. So look for more AI and Microsoft products going down the road. They're making a huge, huge bet on it. Uh, and you can do this. What I'm going to do, you can do yourself. And we're going to use ChatGPT version 4, which is the latest version. It's got a pretty good press. People in the, in the media that are reporting on it have reported favorably. But let's just jump over the interface and we'll get started. So this is the ChatGPT interface. And again, later in the video, I'll show you how to get here, how to sign up and get an account and give it a try. And you'll notice a couple of things. It does give you some examples. It also gives you some capabilities, but it also has some limitations. And you should be aware of that. Uh, it says it may occasionally generate incorrect information. So whatever you get from ChatGPT, give it a smell test. May occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. Again, be aware, be advised. We're in the early stages of these things. And finally, it says it has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So if you're not asking, you know, who ran the fastest marathon in 2022, you're probably okay in the, in the world events category. So, so I'm new to artificial intelligence, so I, I did not know what to do. What, what could I even ask? So I decided if ChatGPT is intelligent, I'll just ask it. So I said, how can ChatGPT help me in my running life? Now, depending upon you know the, the demand on the servers at the time, it could take a little while for a response. Sometimes you can't even get on. If you're doing it at a prime time, you know, maybe on a you know Wednesday around lunchtime when people are jumping on, you may have a struggle getting on. But uh, usually responses are pretty quick. And you can see some of the responses we're getting kind of fall into several categories of where it can help. For example, give me running tips and advice. It can give me training plans. It can give me motivational things. It can give me nutrition advice. It says it can help with injury and recovery. Give advice, again, advice. And give me gear and equipment rec recommendations. And finally, it can help me connect with other runners or find local running groups and so forth. So I decided it might be helpful to ask a question in a different way. For example, how can chat GPT help me train for a marathon? And you can see we get some similar kind of inputs, training tips, Training plans. They can give me a training plan. That's kind of interesting. Uh, motivational kind of things. Give me strategies, race day strategies. It says, again, injury prevention. We saw in the last, uh, last uh, question. So, again, those are all things that we could look and explore as we play with chat GPT. So, I was kind of interested in this research or tr running information. You know, I, and, and decided I, I would try something a little different. I actually got this idea off my ink pad. And I'm interested in lactate threshold because I hear Ralph mention that every once in a while, but I don't really understand it. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to explain lactate threshold like I'm 12 years old. And when you read through the discussion here, it's pretty kind of cool. It really does explain it in very simple terms. Uh, it's something that a 12-year-old or even an old guy like me can understand. So I thought that was pretty cool, and it seems spot on. I would not disagree with the information it gave. It seemed to be pretty correct. And then I thought, well, let's ask the other side. Let's ask it, can you explain lactate threshold if I'm a biochemist? And so it goes into a little more detail. It talks about anaerobic metabolism. Uh, it talks about producing ATP and, and some other things like that. It talks about pH in the blood and the muscles. It talks about some acids that are created, enzymes. So again, a much more detailed explanation, but you know, not, not a real lengthy explanation either. It's very concise, very on point. 
Now, you may recall when I talked about the marathon, I asked, it said it could help me with training plans. So I asked it, can you give me a training plan to do a marathon in 10 weeks? And it starts off congratulating me on committing to do a half marathon, and it's giving me a sample 10-week plan. It goes through all 10 weeks for each day what you should do. Now, you will notice on here you can pick uh, uh, in the center there it says stop generating. If you if you decide it's not what you want to do, you can have it stop generating. If it's getting, getting too lengthy, it can do all these things. Now, like at the end, it says, hey, listen to your body throughout the training process. Adjust if necessary. Make sure you get your days of rest. And good luck. I think that's kind of cool. I think it's kind of maybe a little personalization in there so I can get training plans. You may recall it also said it can help with motivation. So I asked it, Chat GPT, can you give me some good mantras to use when I'm running a half marathon? I am strong. I am capable. I can do this. I am filled with energy and endurance. I am embracing the challenge and growing stronger with every step. These are all great mantras. I don't know if you use mantras. I use them a lot. And they're, they're very great mantras. So I, I would give it a, an A plus for that. And then I wanted to say it can make gear recommendation. What about compression socks? I asked it, what are the pros and cons of using compression socks? For running and actually it explained a little general explanation about what they are and then it gave me some pros and then went on and gave me some cons hey if you're enjoying this video please scroll down and hit that like icon those likes really help my channel my uh, times in exploring what it can do for a runner it said it could give me recommendations on how to set up a running app. And so I asked the chat GPT, how do I set up RunKeeper? Because I use RunKeeper. And it went through a step-by-step -step process of setting up RunKeeper. And it looks to me, as a person who uses it, it seems pretty spot on. It looks like it is correct in how you would set up RunKeeper. I did not try it on any other apps, but if you use an app, you might try it and see what it tells you. But it, it seems like it's reasonably spot on. So, so what are my conclusions after doing all this? Well, one is I do think there is some usefulness for a runner, and I think there's usefulness in many aspects in life. You can get information from it, and you get it concisely. Uh, what I mean by that is if you, if you go to Google or DuckDuckGo or Bing and type in, for example, what is lactate threshold, it's going to give you maybe, maybe a very small definition, but it most likely will link you to articles, and all these articles are long articles. They're going to be 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 words. you got to read through and decipher to understand what is lactate threshold. No, chat GPT gave me a very concise definition, whether it was a simple definition or a more complex definition, but I got the information I wanted. Same thing with some of the other things. If I under, want to understand compression socks, I don't have to read through a whole article about compression. Chat GPT gave me information about compression socks, what are the pros and the cons. So I think as a, as a first step, or maybe an only step, and getting information in a concise format, I got to give a thumbs up to artificial intelligence. Now, I'm sure over time this will grow and expand and become even smarter and better. So I see a lot of positive things down in the future. Now, one, one little quirk I experienced in one of my early forays into it, asking what it can do it, and mentioning it helped me track training, which, you, which it, it even does today. But I mentioned it could keep a virtual log for me. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. So I had it start a virtual log, gave it a couple of fictitious runs I did. In other words, I told it, you know, I ran today. I ran three miles. It, was, it took me 35 minutes. Uh, it was 38 degrees and sunny outside. And it actually fit, con conversed back to me and said it recorded all that information. I did that twice. Then later on, a couple of days later, I thought I would ask, chat GPT to summarize the entries in my running log in my virtual running log and it came back and said well as an artificial intelligence I have no access to our personal information and blah 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 I can't do anything so I thought that was really odd you you tell me you can record a virtual journal but you can't come back at me with the information I put in it so I don't know that's a quirk or, or what's going on there so it's not it's not 100% I think there's a lot of room for improvement but I'm very excited about using it now, if you decide to try this, and I'll show you in just a second here how to do that, if you decide to do it and find something interesting, please put a comment down below what you did, what you thought was either cool or uncool about it, and share with me and maybe other viewers of this video. If you want to do this yourself, you need to head over to openai.com. That's the place uh, where ChatGPT resides. You'll get their homepage, and you know there's all kinds of things you can look at there about OpenAI and their research and so forth. And then you want to scroll down till you see a link that says Try ChatGPT. And when you click that, it will take you to uh, a sign-up or a sign-in page, whether you have an, depending on if you have an account or don't yet. And you want to click Sign Up if you're new here. And when you do that, you have several options. 
You can use an email or a password of your own, or you can sign in with your Google account, or no surprise, with your Microsoft account. I guess for a billion dollars, you know, they'll let you log in with your Microsoft account. And then, of course, once you do that, then you will get to the page that, um, that I showed you in the beginning. You'll have that conversational page. Now, once you have your account, you go back, you hit log in, log in with your email and password or your Google or Microsoft account, and it would take you again to the, to the opening page I saw showed you before. Thanks again for being here. I really appreciate you watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, please scroll down and hit that like icon. Those likes really help my channel grow. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around. Please hit that subscribe icon also. Thanks again and happy running.